page welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be giving y'all a tour of my dorm room here at texas state and i'm staying in jackson hall so i've been here for about two weeks now so i'm gonna show y'all what my room looks like um after i've been living here for about two weeks so stay tuned and i will give y'all a tour bit of an overview of the room but now I'm going to give you all a little bit more detailed. So when you first walk in here's the door with their towel racks on it. Um, this is mine and then that's my roommates and then but when you first walk in I have this big stand-up mirror so you can look at yourself check out your outfit make sure you're looking good before you go to class. And then I have this little command hook where I just have like my car keys, my mask, cause you know, COVID, and then my Bobcat ID and my key for my room. And then you come this way. This is the closet, which I will touch on a little bit, but I just put up some curtains so that um, it kind of hides everything in there. So then when you come more over this way, here's my bed. And I put little bed risers on there, as you can see. So it's a little bit more elevated. So you can have more storage under the bed and it just makes it feel more homey. So under the bed, um, I just have a lot of storage stuff, like just containers of extra storage stuff that I have, like, like bowls, some Tupperware, paper plates. Um, this has like, my plastic wares and like seasoning because you know Tony's you have to have that for everything cups um, just extra storage bins under there um, water bottles because I live off of those and then I have a big container of food some chips um, yeah so that's about it for under my bed but I highly recommend getting some bed risers because it just lifts everything up and yeah, it just creates more storage space. Between my bed and my closet, I have my laundry hamper and my trash can, which I need to take out, so don't judge me. But then, here's the closet. I'll give y'all a little deep rundown of the closet. Um, you have these two like slide um, openings where you can store things. Like I just have stuff I don't use, like my fan and other stuff like Christmas decorations. Cause yes, I love Christmas, but you have two sides for that. And then you have this big shelf up here, which I just have like my umbrella, an extra purse. Um, this is my basket of all my laundry stuff. And then my hats and extra pair of shoes. And then I have my like hang up shirts that I don't want to fold, my bathrobe, and then just extra storage thing. My basket with like toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, perfume, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and then my shower caddy for when I go take showers. And yes, there is a communal bath, but it's honestly not that bad. Um, but yeah, that's a must, a shower caddy. This is my laundry basket that I use when I go um, to do laundry. It's just easier to tow everything in here. And then I have these plastic drawers. I know it's hard to see. The lighting's not very good over here. But I just basically have um, extra big sweatshirts um, in there. And then extra clothes in here. And then, like, my school supplies down there. And then over here, I just have my shoes piled up. And then here is just my extra towels and stuff for the bathroom. Okay, so moving on from the closet, we have my bed. And then up here, you have these little shelf units that you can use for storage if you'd like. But I just used it for decoration. I just made a big um, collage with pictures, lined up the candles. Um, just put up more decorations and then those are my little cups that I use for water and stuff or coffee for class. 
And then if you come over here, I have my little coffee maker um, that I use a lot actually because I love to drink coffee. But yeah, so that's it for this little area. down from the coffee maker we have my little microwave and my mini fridge and then um, on top of my microwave I just have this little basket with all my little Keurig um, coffee pods my coffee mugs which they're very cute <laughs> little Mickey Mouse and then this one and then I just have my sunglasses like my river ones because you're always gonna be on the river up here at Texas State and then my more normal casual ones and then like I said my microwave and then my mini fridge I have a little freezer on top which literally has nothing besides baking soda which don't ask me why that's in there because I don't know either and then my fridge just random stuff that you would normally have at a fridge and then I just keep my backpack here because it's more accessible like that and it's just easier but yeah so now we're gonna move on to the little desk area so you have this mirror that's provided for you um every room has a mirror which is cool and i just put a little cross up there and then this little decoration and then up here i just kind of decorated um which is little stuff I don't know and then my lamp another candle because you can never have too many candles a picture of my mom and my grandma at her wedding and then I have my little printer right here and then if you come down we have this little desk area and they do provide a chair for you um so basically you just have a little drawer in here which I have random extra stuff in and then I have my little mirror so I can do my makeup and stuff. It lights up. And then I just put more pictures on the wall over here. And then I basically just have all my makeup stuff right here. And then like school supplies and then my scrunchies. But yeah, so that's it for this little section. Oh, I forgot to point out. They does have a light under here that you just switch on and off like that and then i have this extension cord because they do only um provide you two outlets per person in the room just two like it's crazy so you're gonna need a lot of extension cords and a lot of um, power strips so you can put a lot of stuff on there and plug a lot of things in but i just basically i don't know if you can see i just have one of these power strips where you can plug in a whole bunch of stuff um so that's what's plugging in my fridge over here and all of that but yeah definitely recommend getting one of those <music> desk you have your dresser area and then yes I'm watching new girl I love that show highly recommend if you haven't seen it already but yeah I brought my big tv so me and my roommate share it a lot um and then we basically have these big dresser drawers and this half is mine this half is my roommate's but I basically just have clothes all in here and then the bottom drawer, I just have like all my hair stuff over here, like beauty products over here. 
and then just extra random stuff on this side. Ooh. And yes, the drawers are a little janky and they're a little hard to open and close, but you make do with what you got. <laughs> but anyway, so from the dresser, um, I got this fluffy carpet. I got it from Kohl's and it basically just stretches from both sides like that. And then if you come this way, I have this big fluffy carpet that I got from um, Bed Bath Beyond and basically just have it in the middle of the room for both me and my roommate to share. <music> I do have some tips for y'all if you are going to be moving into Jackson Hall. Be prepared. It is literally negative 200 degrees in here. It is so cold, like unbearably cold in here. I don't know why, but it's just like Antarctica here. So I would make sure to bring plenty of fluffy blankets because you will need them. Plenty of sweatshirts and winter clothes because it is very cold and I'd also highly recommend getting some fluffy rugs like I have because it helps keep warm in here and you don't want to be walking barefoot on the cold tile because it makes it like a million times worse. So that's some tips and then it is a communal, communal bathroom and shower so just be forewarned for that but it's honestly not that bad. I thought it was going to be bad, but literally my room is right across um, the hall from the bathroom. So I literally take like three steps and I'm already in the bathroom. So, and it's honestly not that bad. Like the showers, you have so much privacy. There's a whole stall just for you to get changed in. And then there's a whole nother stall that's attached that has a shower on it. So you're completely private. There's no one can see you. It's all good because trust me I was a little nervous thinking that I was gonna have to share a bathroom with other people but it's honestly not that bad but yeah that's about it for my room tour um please leave a like down below if you liked my video um leave a comment for any other videos you would like to see like I can give y'all a tour of Texas State show y'all more of Jackson Hall um just whatever you want to see um just please let me know um, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all another time with another video. Bye!